Hi there, in this video, I will show you some of the date functions and properties that are available within Pandas. Alright, so first of all, let's uh, add the library, which is Pandas as AT. And let's go ahead and import the orders sheet from our sales sheet. And that is what we have been using as an example. After that, let's see the data types. So this will show you that row ID is int64 and the interest is on the date and it has been shown or it has imported the dates properly and formatted it properly without you know specifying any parameter or anything and uh, sometimes it happens that uh, it is mentioned as object and not as a proper date maybe because of uh, you know mix up of date formats and things like that so if you have a situation where it is not formatted then you can use the t uh, two underscore date function to basically convert into a date so since we have uh, proper dates over here so we don't need to convert it but uh, let's go ahead and see some of its objects and properties some methods and properties so first thing first of all let's take the order date and let's use dt sub library and uh, let's use day of year method dot head let's see this all right it gives uh, series subject is not called okay um i think it's just the property not the method let's see this now yeah so for first row the day of year is 286 for first row, the second row, the day of year is 275 and so on and so forth. So this is the method that you can use to identify which day of year it is based on the date that you have. Sometimes due to some reasons uh, you are interested in knowing what is a weekday name of a particular date. So whether it's a Sunday, Monday or Wednesday, what it is. So what we can use is dot weekday underscore name dot hat. And it will show you whether it is Wednesday or Monday or Sunday, uh, which day is occurring, which weekday is occurring on the uh, on that particular date. And uh, like day of year, you also have uh, a property called week of year as well. So instead of saying day of year we will go week of year and that will show you what is the week number within that year so you have 52 weeks and it will show you anywhere between 1 to 52 uh, for that particular order date also if you are interested in knowing the day of week the number like uh, we have got the weekday name you have something uh, day of week dot head so whether it's the second day first day that means that is indicated zero or the last day which is indicated with the six and as you can compare from weekday name the monday is the first day and it's been indicated with zero so zero is monday tuesday is one and wednesday will be two and that's why you have it two over here and Sunday, as you can see, is the last day has been indicated with the 6. So that's the numbering that you need to follow. Now, many times when the dates are given and you need to create some sort of a reports or dashboard, you have to extract year information or the month information from that uh, date's value. So how you can do that and create a new column in your uh, data set? It's by saying orders orders dot here is equals to order orders order date dot dt dot year and uh, now let's see orders dot year dot value score counts so what it has done it has created the first of all year column and then we are counting how many values are present in each of the year so this way 
your years are starting from 2009 and going up till the 2011 and these are the values uh, as per the count you have or the number of rows that you have within each year similarly you can fetch the month information as well so if i just copy this entire piece so that i don't have to write it again and if i just go a little bit down there and say i want month information i will change it to month and here also month and it will give me the month information so from 1 to 12 and tell me how many rows it has all right finally i want to show you the uh, so i have a documentation and this is the link for date time properties so if i just uh, go to this link it will show me the date time properties so like we have been using series dot dt dot date so we have used year we have used month so there is similarly you have day hour minute second microsecond nanosecond similarly for week 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 of year day of week week day week name all of these different properties which is pretty straightforward to work the dates and create new dimensions or the new columns for your data analysis and that's pretty much all i have for you in this video i'll meet you in the new video the new topic